morning. Well, it's the start of day three. I'm out on Daisy Lake and today I'm gonna get back in the canoe and keep moving on. So I got my stuff pretty much sprawled out everywhere. Half packing, half making coffee and breakfast. But uh, yeah, it was an early morning. The loons, thanks for waking me up guys. I, the crack of dawn but uh, you know it's nice to hear as well so but it's probably like 6 30 maybe 7 o'clock now after I've you know farted around doing stuff got washed up last night was really hot really humid it didn't rain yesterday it was supposed to and uh, the humidity just stuck around last night when I climbed into the hammock to go to bed you know it was so hot and the top is all fly screen which is great you'd think that that would have a lot of ventilation it really doesn't it's strange um it must just it ventilates enough blocks i don't know the circulation maybe or something i don't know don't know what happens in there but yeah i had to unzip it and it's like hanging out, <laughs> breathing outside because it was so, I was sweating inside of it. So, yeah, got up this morning, washed that filth and grime, clammy sweat from all day yesterday and last night. So, took care of that. I'm on my second cup of coffee now. So today I'm paddling into Little Misty, which isn't very far. Uh, this summer I've been... Uh, in Algonquin anyhow, I've been really focusing on taking my time, slow traveling through, try to get, uh, you know, a good sense of the route as you go through, um, focus on photography, that kind of thing. So today from uh, Daisy to Little Misty, it's about, uh, I'm going to be on the Petawawa River and I used my gar Garmin to uh, calculate the distance on the Petawawa and the Petawawa if I remember right it was like four and a half kilometers or something like that so the rest of Daisy I think is two kilometers and then there's probably half a kilometer or a kilometer on uh, Little Misty to find a campsite so what's that it's like six kilometers six and a half so really I could do it in probably an hour um, hour and a half I'll take my time um, with any luck, I can get myself packed up and out of here early enough that there could be some wildlife to see along the way. That would be great. The park's really busy. You know, it's, uh, is it the last week of August? Second to last week of August. Um, so yeah, it's busy. And that forces, you know, all the creatures to, you know, head for the hills and avoid everybody. But, yeah, who knows? Early mornings, you know, and in the evening is when you'd see stuff usually. So maybe I'll see something, especially along the Petawawa, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to finish up here, um, then pack up, and then I'll get on the canoe and head out.
Okay, so I'm at the first portage of the day. There's two, and this one is 135 meters. It's from Daisy Lake to the Petawawa River. So I'm just at the beginning of the Petawawa River here. Um, I don't know if you can see around the corner, but uh, yeah, short little portage. So I'm gonna gear up, get my pack, and definitely record this 135 meters. Should be easy. So I just walked the portage and it's actually a pretty little fall. So I think we'll check it out. Okay, well, just headed out from the portage. You can still hear the water flowing down that waterfall in the background. I gotta say, a little concerned about the water level. Um, about nine inches deep, and uh, definitely with debris in the way like I have right now um, yeah a little bit worrying but we'll see how it goes 
it's not that far of a distance so hopefully there's enough water to make it the whole way and if not there'll be a bit of a portaging or dragging the canoe I'm here now So there's a beaver dam up ahead and it looks like quite the difference in water level. So I don't think there's any paddling over this one. <laughs> we'll have a look. I think I'm gonna get my feet wet, but it's not as steep, high, high as I thought it was. Um, I'm gonna try to go over it. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna try. Not what I had hoped for, but I made it halfway. <laughs> oh, I should be able to just wiggle my way over. Needed more speed. More speed. We're talking inches deep now. <laughs> uh, it's shallow. Four hundred and fifty meters, Petawawa River to the Petawawa River.
So there's only one campsite on Little Misty, and this is it. I had a quick look around, half decent fire pit, two trees that I can hang the hammock, so that's no worries. Rock that I'm kind of on, looking out at the lake, so yeah, it'll do. It's a place to crash for the night, so yeah, not bad. If I had any concern at all, it would be uh, the sky is darkening. Looks like rain is on the way and really not a whole lot of shelter from a storm if it does pick up. But I've got tarps, I've got dry land, at least for now, and I think this will do. Been at the campsite for a little while I've set up camp um, actually set up the tarp in one spot and then uh, decided to move it closer to the water I'll show you what I've done so you can see I've got the uh, the tarp and hammock set up here between these two trees this tree is a little bit uh, smaller and uh, right this one here um, so what I've done is I've tied off from that tree to another, and then again to another. Um, that way it's anchored off and just give that tree a bit more strength, right? Uh, it's gonna be, I'm sure the tree has enough strength to, you know, support the hammock and the tarp, but it just takes a bit of the pressure off the tree, even it out between the three and it's fair on the tree. And I know there's not gonna be any issues through the night, or at least I hope not. Um, yeah, so uh, just the canoe there and then back here is the fire pit. So I've hung the water filter, um, the gravity filter, and already filtered off. It holds two liters, so I've got two liters there. I've also got a bee free filter and I've used it twice since being here. Actually, I'm, so that's two liters. Drank a liter canoeing today as well, so I'm Kind of surprised but yeah i'm going through more water than i thought and that's fine if i feel thirsty i'm gonna drink and uh, keep myself hydrated tomorrow i have a two and a half kilometer portage i'm gonna have to do it three times right so two carries but i have to do the the hike back so uh yeah that will be kind of interesting um, but yeah, anyway, so fire pit, pardon the mess. So I've collected some firewood. There was a downed tree back there, so I got some of it. Turns out it's not entirely dry, um, but I found some other wood that was down. I think it's kind of punky, um, but I found some more. Truthfully, it's pretty hot. So I'll have a fire, but I probably won't have a fire for very long tonight. Um, last night was really hot and I found that just sitting by the fire was a little bit too much. So anyway, it, it's not bad because it's got a nice view going out towards the Petawawa that I paddled in. And it looks like a spot, if I was a moose, I would hang out there. So I've got a nice view straight out. I've got my camera set up. Uh, if I notice something, then yeah, maybe I'll be able to zoom in on it. Um, if I see something and I zoom in and I get a shot and it's still hanging out, then I might jump in the canoe and try to paddle a little bit closer to get a better shot. But, you know, we'll see. There hasn't been a lot of moose around, I have to say. I thought I would have seen something today on the Petawawa, but it's busy. I'm not filming other people, but like even since I've been on this campsite, Let's see, I've seen uh, three different groups of people go by in about two hours. And while paddling in, yeah, probably three or four different groups. Um, yeah, so, so it's pretty busy out here. The moose are hiding. So it's kind of disappointing. I'd like to see something, but uh, that's fine. It is what it is. So I've got more trips this year and maybe I'll see something then. And if not, it's nice to be out and just get the fresh air and you know, all that uh, being out in nature does for you. <laughs>